Yeah, actually, not to basically, me alone can say relax. So, this is going to happen. I'm just going to say, 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 i Oh man, this is like a paradise. I know. I'm I so much love this place. Trust me, I love this place. You come to somebody and you're watching one. Yeah. Grand Villa. I tell you. I love this place. Okay. I love this place, man. I love this place, man. Oh, yeah. Neil Futama Kuo Kesosotala. Futama Old Jintum Paradise Estate. By your commander, okay, 752712182. Wale Futama website auto www.grandvillaguesthouse.com. Grand guest house dreaming of owning a property in a prime location with great proximity and fantastic neighborhood EJ Investments Sanyang Seaview Estate is the best choice you have been waiting for. Our Sanyang Seaview Estate is approximately 15 minutes drive away from the busy hop of Busubi roundabout and into the heart of nature where you can have a peaceful and relaxed lifestyle with your family. You can buy a finished four bedroom story with five year flexible payment plan or a service plot with two year payment plan an option. With over 300 homes, you will enjoy big tar roads with covered drainage, modern electrification with solar street lights, gated entrance with security post, and a breath-catching experience of our beautiful sea view and lake view. You can own a home today at our Sanyang Sea View Estate. Call us today on 446-4838 or 325 9220. Visit our website on ejinvestments.net. EJ Investments, first in property. Boy, Janno Seekers Restaurant. Yes, I know who be in the Dimbal. Nimba Domoro Kara Janno. Domoro Senata, Adiata, Topotoro, Fanan Kendama Bigi. Luntan During, Tamala, Abeka Domoro Kijani, Adimanda Walade, Takawe Bijele, Anim Fanan Kafa Dijang, Ukono Efa. Eka Fominoko Pestry and in Bakery, Uko Fanan Bakari. Bad day lumber, conference lumber, workshop lumber, you're fourth in the world. Dunya Kono. 
domoro betama ñu lom international o tiwoda number 1 amanke ba do mala jam dama e sa do ma jam is atariya a wo mu kuba ndi sa na ko sa futan din e oto sa na ko be mu sikes restaurant dama na jam na mu yat ni manje do rom bijam aban sikes restaurant known for best quality food and customer satisfaction It's very simple. Just log on to baluo.com and shop or download the app on your phone. You can shop on the website or using the app to buy online basic products for your family and friends. With Baluo, you decide what your money is spent on. Your money, your choice. Buy online products for your family and friends in the Gambia, Senegal, Nigeria or Mali. Baluo, better than sending money. Welcome to the special edition of the brunch on Kerfatu. I'm Lamin Cham, and today, of course, we are coming to you from the International Conference Center here on the Senegambia Strip. Uh, today, being the 11th January, and the day dedicated to uh, inaugurate this magnificent complex, which have been built here over the last two years, and as part of infrastructure uh, to host the 2022. Now, I think. Uh, summit of heads of states of the Islamic uh, organization OIC. Uh, this morning President Barrow will preside over the proceedings you are seeing behind us uh, that will formally inaugurate this building. Uh, just to put the historical context to this building, well of course this was a grant by the People's Republic of China uh, and it cost about 50 million US dollars. Uh, we will know of course uh, uh, all what is in, you know all what is in this facility that can tell you that this is money well spent for the first time the Gambia has got an international conference center which we can be proud of which we can uh, say can really meet the standards of our uh, neighboring countries and indeed uh, as far away as other areas in the world we will of course delve more about what uh, the conference center is, uh, is consisting of composed of and then we will also use the opportunity to talk to the people who are gathered here under those tents you can see behind me who will all take part in their various capacities um, to witness this inaugural ceremony later we will join the GRTs of course uh, uh, when the actual proceeding starts they will be feeding us pictures and sound uh, from the rest of the program now to kick start of course I'm joined here with the honorable uh, Sidi Njai, former National Assembly member of Nyaniga, was it? Nominated. Nominated member of Nyaniga. Um, and he's also from Nyaniga. He was nominated. And then he was, in fact, at, at some point, Minister of uh, Minister of Information in the Gambia and a prominent member now of the uh, new dispensation, Mr. Guy. Let's talk. Today, of course, is a national day. Uh, I would have, uh, you, one would have really think that today is a day at least all the political, you know, punditry and all this will go to rest. We all honor uh, a day like today when we have won an international uh, conference center that we can be proud of. And the fact that it has been named 
after a national hero, the father of the nation's now the general. But let me just uh, uh, take you on, before we move on to the uh, presidential days where we'll talk to more people, what do you make of today and this event? Um, thank you very much, uh, Lamin. Uh, good morning, Gambians, and hello, the world. Uh, before I respond to your question, I just want to say that this is a national event indeed. And that's why um, all the political parties uh, leaders have been invited and uh, most of them have started coming in. Um, what, uh, uh, this day is very insignificant in the sense that one, it is for the first time in the history of the Gambia that uh, we can now boast of an international conference center, the fitting of a world-class conference center, having all its edifice and uh, the logistics that ones need for an international conference center. Two, it's a grant. Three, the location of the International Conference Center and the Gambia would serve as an impetus, an area of socio-economic development. In addition to creation of employment, uh, the conference center is expected to draw um, sub-regional, regional, international, other multilateral uh, organizations to, uh, uh, to the Gambia exactly. as a host country because uh, now that uh, the facilities are available, for example, the main conference hall can house up to uh, about 1,003 uh, uh, yeah. individuals, yeah. over 1,000 people. Over there, 1, are 000, yeah. Yeah, there are other conference uh, and, and seminars, rooms, committee rooms, you know, they also have um, a banquet or a, a buffet hall where uh, delegates could serve, use it as a coffee break. And additionally, the location within the coast of uh, uh, the Gambia, that is the Atlantic Ozone, where it is within the midst of the tourism development area. Yeah. So therefore, the significance of the day today cannot be overemphasized. But when you want to go in for it, yeah. it also emboldens the relationship between the Republic of the Gambia and the People's Republic of China, China. because it's a grant from the People's Republic of China to the Gambia. Yeah. And the current dispensations have decided to name the edifice after the uh, former president yes. of the Republic, the late Sadawra Kairaba Jawa. That is why I'm to, uh, I have seen very few critics of that decision. Like I've seen very few people who would say, well, we hope it could be another person, not Sadawra. Just because, not, not least because of his contribution to the uh, life of Gambia as a nation. Do you think it was a good decision to name it after Sadawra? Yeah, for me, I think it was a good decision because we need to depart as African from naming our um, reputable institutions or uh, edifices to foreign countries or foreign, other issues, foreign names. names than our own. It's better to name them to our own. And here its significance. Why also additionally I support it. Sadauda is among the founding fathers of Gambia's democracy, of, of Gambia's uh, independence. He was part of those who fought and he was the first president of the Republic of the Gambia. So that irrespective of the goods and of the bad of his administrations, I think as a first president of the Republic of the Gambia and who led the country also to independence after being a prime minister, would only, it's only befitting for it to be named after him so that not only this generation, but generations yet unborn will continue to learn that the first president of the Republic of the Gambia is Sadauda and his name after the first international conference center acquired by the Republic of the Gambia. Good, and then let's talk about the conference itself. I mean, there are, you know, information, $260 million to be provided, 20 roads, including a four, a four star, what is it, four star, five star, yes, hotel, yes. Five VIP, star. <coughs> uh, launch in Banjul International Airport. Now, this is the first facility. That is the contribution of the government, government towards that, and funded by China, as you said. This is one that is ready. How much of an inspiration will this be for the rest of the uh, projects that yeah, are coming? Yeah, because one, it will serve as an example 
and it will serve also as an encouragement to the OIC wall that the Gambia is uh, more or less ready because the main thing is whether the Gambia have the capacity to host the conference center. One key among those things is the venue of the conference center and you have over 1,000 people can be and more and there are a lot of other issues. So therefore the conference they are, it can safely be said that there is no hotel yes. or any site that can really accommodate 1,000 delegates in the Gambia. Only this place. Only this place. And secondly, um, you look at there are going to be 20 roads to be built that will ease the movement of people, goods and services during the period within the Greater Banjo area, most of which will be Serekonda West and also uh, San Mentren constituencies. And also, you know, there's this expansion of the uh, main highway, the Battle Harding Highway, yeah. the improvement of water and electricity. All those are projects. Uh, yeah, all, those, those, all those are projects. In fact, the water and the electricity is um, uh, the, in the improvement. Those of you, those of us who are frequently applying the roads of Battle Harding and other, you see uh, the contractors have started uh, laying the big pipes to improve the water facility because once there's influx of the Muslim wall into the Gambia, yeah. The pressure on water, on electricity would be high. Yeah. So therefore the demand would be high, yeah. then the supply need to be improved. And then the Banjul International Airport, they will build a VIP lounge yeah. that will stand the test of time yeah. to be able to have uh, equal to those that you have in the, or in the developed world. So, so in other words, the projects will copy the example and the standard of the OIC conference center here. Exactly. So the same, that's the same kind of things we need. We will be in at the VIP launch at the airport. So exactly. Be fitting and standardized. Very to, well. To, to meet with the criteria or the types it found in other countries. Very well. And most of uh, those uh, projects, uh, most of the money is at the ground. You know, we saw the parliament ratified that between the Gambia and Saudi, you know. So, therefore, um, this is a giant leap towards a successful hosting of the 2022 OIC uh, corporation. Finally, before I let leave of you, Honorable, because I'll be moving uh, towards the presidential desk to bring more before we join the GRTS. Uh, what would you say now um, about your own impression about the complex? Because it's just not the building here with already people are suggesting that in fact more facilities can be built here what's your impression of the general yes, area i am i am impressed in the sense that uh, it's a huge uh, it's a massive uh, land and uh, uh, even though the conference center at the building has been erected already but you can see you still have uh, a, a good uh, space which of course even hotel a five star hotel or 10 20 story building could be built all the facilities you know i'm sure the topography also is coming uh, you know but they could also have recreational uh, facilities they could also even uh, uh, there are a lot of things that could be done because i'm sure they have enough land here to make good use of it to attract more tourists to attract international conferences to attract uh, sub-regional and regional uh, to come and uh, 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 do their, uh, uh, their, their, their events in the Gambia. Honorable Sir Njai, thank you very much. Thank you very much, much Lamin. Thank you very much. And thank you brunch. very much, uh, viewers. Thank well, you. Well, this is the brunch. Of course, we are going now going to move towards the presidential desk um, to see if we can get more reactions from the people who have come to witness the occasion, that is the inauguration of the $50 million Sadauda Kairaba is our international conference center situated here in Bigelow, just by the Senegambia uh, Beach Hotel, if you know the area, moving towards the town table. And it's right on the coast. Uh, and as Honorable Sidinja have just described, um, it's a vast area. It's not just the conference center, but there are there is enough space for anybody to put up any other facility. And, that's, and that, of course, include according to people's suggestion, building high class accommodations so that some conference centre participants may not even find the need to go elsewhere. Thank you very much, Honorable Jai. And now we move on to uh, the presidential days and other days available for us uh, to be able to talk to people uh, to see their, 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 their district. So, we cannot enter. They won't allow us. Ah, well then, there you go.
Talking when I don't want to enter inside. I don't know why. Huh? Oh, sure. abroad and want to build your dream home in the Gambia without risking your funds and family ties? Do you want a household name that is trustworthy and efficient? A name that will continue to give you updates on the project from the beginning to the very end with videos and pictures? If your answer is yes, then worry no more. Boss Construction and Asset Management is here for you. If you live outside the Gambia and want to build your dream home, then this is ideal for you. Just reach out to Boss Construction and let's start building the dream home into a reality. With Boss Construction, the difference is clear. We give you value for money. Some of our services include the following. Construction management, building equipment rentals, rent management, purchase and leasing, asset management and many more. For more information, please contact 282-4945. Better still, send us an email bossgambia at gmail.com or you can also visit our website on www.bossgambia.com Boss Construction, a name you can trust. Boss Construction and Asset Management, keeping families together. Not only we are not all about skin, we are skin, care, and the plus. And the plus does come in so many different ways.
Once again, welcome back to the brunch here at the Sadawda Jawara Kairaba, Sadawda Kairaba Jawara International Conference Center here in Bigelow, just on the Senegambia Strip. Um, well, distinguished uh, invitees have started to arrive only a while ago when we were off um, camera. Um, we witnessed the arrival of uh, the First Lady of the Republic of the Gambia in the First Republic, Ajara to Lady Chilel Jawara, who arrived uh, here, uh, of course, uh, uh, since it has already been established that uh, the, um, the building is going to be named after former President Jawara, um, it was only um, logical that uh, his family members um, have been invited and uh, of course one of them uh, and most important of them of course is Ajara to Lady Chilel Jawara who arrived. Uh, more people are coming as uh, the whole proceedings wait for the arrival of His Excellency President Barrow uh, who will preside over the official opening ceremony of the edifice. Now this building like we said has been sponsored by the People's Republic of China with a grant of 50 million dollars and very soon we will be able to find out uh, what are the facilities inside but we can safely say that um, today this is the biggest conference center in the Gambia uh, with a capacity to handle over 1,000 delegates and uh, it has also facilities that are found nowhere in the Gambia uh, facilities such as um, a media center that will hold uh, a large gathering of um, international and local media when the time comes that is and it also has um, a cafeteria uh, where participants can take a break and uh, uh, have something to grab or to bite and behind the building and perhaps more significantly is there is a even bigger space uh, that people have started suggesting that can be used to put up accommodations so that uh, certain um, uh, conferences or conference delegates may not find the need to go um, elsewhere to look for accommodation in the future. All these um, developments uh, uh, we are about to see and we, we're going to have uh, more enlightenment on them I guess when the program starts. Uh, at the moment you can hear on the background the Gambia police ban. Um, have started uh, playing martial music as usual. Um, the national songs that is um, uh, that they have uh, composed. I will be moving uh, a little bit um, to give you a background to uh, what is obtained here, um, and also to mingle with uh, um, the invitees. And uh, hello, sir. Good morning. Good morning. You are live on the brunch um, on Kerfatu. We just want to have your take, uh, whatever your capacity, about this um, um, significant uh, building that we are about to inaugurate. Well, I am Ibrahim Akoli, the project manager of the Gambia OIC Secretariat. That's great. So you can and, tell us more. I'm the project coordinator for the ICC at the same time because I was at the Ministry of Transport. Fantastic. Um, People like us and some laymen watching you may probably don't know what is inside this building. I know we will have time to see it, but what can you tell us about this building from your uh, vintage position as a member or somebody involved in the whole project? Well, like you said, we're about to open it. So why don't we wait until you open, then you will see. But I can guarantee you that once you get inside, you'll be satisfied. Now, this is just one aspect of the OIC infrastructure project. Can you take us to what else we might see later? Yes, you will get the opportunity to see massive road infrastructure improvement, like the secondary roads, 50 kilometers, Batil Hardin expansion, the hotels, VIP lounge, improvement in water and electricity supply too as well. Yes, just to name a few. Well, you may not have been involved in the selection of the, the name for it, uh, but how do you react to the fact that it's going to be named after former President Jawara? Well, we can't say much. He has done his bit so these are ways that we can it's important that we actually you know give back to our great men and women in this country so it's important i think it's, it's a good thing thank you very much for sharing thanks okay
Well, there we have it. Um, um, we will actually lucky to have uh, somebody involved in the in the very um, implementation of the project. Um, well, as you can hear behind me, the arrival of uh, one more. VIP, this should be the Honorable Vice President, uh, Doctor. Well, this could be, it could, it could even be His Excellency the President, um, Adam Abaro, who motorcade have just arrived, and uh, any moment from now, I think we will see the beginning of the ceremony because he was the one that uh, everybody was waiting for. Uh, I have another gentleman here. Uh, you are live. Uh, on television, um, well, Mr. I know, I know the president is coming, but you can have a word or two. What do you uh, want to know? Yes, and the camera is the media officer, media officer at State House. Um, Sana, take us through. Um, in your, particularly in your area now, how do you think uh, the media, uh, I mean, coverage and arrangements have been done so far? Quite impressive. Yes. Um, Thanks to the organizing committee, the president's office, we are not the ones organizing it. This is the Ministry of Works. So I will refer you to them. Okay. And then OIC and Fali Federer is there. What, what is your own, your own, no, we your own improve. reflection? No, we want to improve. The, if, even this is very important, considering the sino gambia relations. Um, China has been a long time friend of the Gambia. It's over 40, 50 years. Of course, at some point, there was a disruption in the relations, thanks to our relations with China, um, with Taiwan. But now we are back on, in, in full gears, and then this country and China are going ahead as brothers and as friends. Yes, that's all I can tell you. Thank, thank you very, thank you very much. much, and be on your way. Well, still we are at uh, the Sadawda uh, Jawara International Press, uh, uh, International Conference Center, and uh, you can, of course, see the arrival of uh, His Excellency uh, President Adam Abaro. The first motorcades have arrived, and uh, any moment from now, uh, the President himself would arrive, uh, as you can see. Uh, the brisk business, uh, jostling among diplomats and ministers. Um, the Honorable the President has just arrived. The motorcade is uh, uh, right at the corner. And uh, the, any moment from now, the President uh, will alight his car. And uh, the whole ceremony will start. Here comes the president. Uh, he's been greeting. He's greeting uh, the vice president, or rather the speaker of the House of Representatives, and uh, other dignitaries gathered here, including, of course, the Chinese ambassador and uh, his team, who uh, have put up um, this important edifice. Uh, he's moving towards the presidential days and everybody is now on their feet uh, trying to take a glimpse of him as he marches towards um, the presidential days accompanied by Vice President um, uh, Dr. Aisha Tunjai Sedi and other dignitaries. Um, we will have to go home, go a little bit ahead of uh, His Excellency the President. Sorry, it's a, it's a, it's a media frenzy actually. Uh, everybody wants to take a glimpse of, uh, you can't believe, it's a media frenzy, I mean, <laughs> the troops of uh, cameramen and reporters have over, overtaken protocols and security officers <laughs> ahead of the president. This is the international, Sadawda uh, Jawa International um, conference center inauguration today the 11th of uh, January and it's coming to you live uh, on this special edition of the brunch on Kerfatu. I'm Lamin Tam and uh, progressively we are heading towards the close to the beginning of the program I am very close to the this band gathered here to provide uh, music um, for national occasions like this. Perhaps we'll take a little bit of them. They are a little bit of a little bit of the police band's rendition of national songs.
now the president is about to reach the age of the crowd that is the end of the long row of uh, VIP that he is uh, greeting uh, before he takes his seat uh, I guess he's going to go to the Chinese uh, community in the Gambia uh, who provided the facility and after that he will also go around to see more dignitaries uh, garden here this is the last last presidential rather rather VIP lounge <laughs> and the president is is, is is gradually doing the rounds the long queue of uh, dignitaries that he is uh, greeting before he takes up seats for us to start uh, the program itself. Well, we have just uh, witnessed the president's greeting of VIPs around here. Now, the other segment of the program is, of course, uh, he's going to take his seats, where we will see, uh, the, after which we will see the beginning of the program, perhaps to start with the national anthem mounted by the Gambia police. Uh, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen. Please be up for the national anthem of the Gambia. the national anthem of the Republic of the Gambia uh, as Republic of China.